Good morning, KMS. This is your Bulldog Bulletin for Friday, January 27th. I'm Lauren. And I'm Alex. Today is a B day. Please stand up and place your right hand over your heart for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now on to lunch to see what we're having. After that, we're going to birthdays and national days. Welcome to lunch for January 27th. I'm Gemma. And I'm Melissa. Today for lunch, we have chicken, pulled pork, and both serve fried rice. We also have a breaded chicken patty sandwich, cheese pizza, turkey ham Hawaiian pizza, and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Chicken Hawaiian pizza. Do you like Hawaiian pizza? I think it's good. Really, I don't. How do you guys feel about pineapple on pizza? You also grab your fruit, like pineapple, veggies, and milk on with the olive cart. What can you get at the a la carte? You can get chips, drinks, and ice cream. Well, that's all for lunch today, KMS. Let's check on birthdays and national days. Good morning, KMS. This is birthdays and national days for January 27th. I'm Juliana, and for sixth grade birthdays today, we have Jas Jackson Vasquez, and there are no seventh grade birthdays. Happy birthday. And for today's national day, we have National Holocaust Day. Back to the main anchors. Happy birthday, Bulldogs! Quick reminder, today is 7th grade purple and gold card incentive during the seminar. Now on to weather and student spotlight. Hi, KMS. I'm Avery. Today's weather is for Wednesday, January 25th. And I'm Adeline. The sun rises at 7.39 a.m. and it will be setting at 5.32 p.m. Today, the humidity is at 66%. This evening, plan to have mostly clear skies with winds ranging from 10 to 20 miles per hour. The high for today is 48 degrees and the low of 29 degrees. That's all for weather. Now let's head over to Student Spotlight with Corbin. Hi, Camus. I'm Corbin. I'm here with Hunter. Uh, Hunter, do you like potatoes or fries more? Uh, potatoes. McDonald's or Chick-fil-A? McDonald's. Salt or no salt on your fries? Salt. What's your favorite dipping DOS for your fries? It's I dipping don't know. sauce. I don't know, anything, I guess. <laughs> okay, bye KMS. Attention all KMS students, the Student Spotlight and Spirit Games are joining forces to promote kindness at KMS. All students are invited to enter a poster contest that highlights kindness, self-care, self-love, and fostering relationships. The final day to enter the poster is February 23rd. Please ask your seminar teachers if you have any questions. The winning seminar for each grade will earn 75 points in the seminar. Second place will earn 50 points, and third place will receive 25 points. Good luck to all y'all. Looking ahead, Monday is grade check. Try and keep your grades up so you can enjoy the incentives. Now to something more fun. Since today is Friday, we're going to have Elle explain. So let's see what she has to explain today. Hello, and welcome back to another Elle Explains. Today, I'm presenting you how you can write your own autobiography. And even I will be releasing my own sometime. You need to start with an early life. One grade starter, for example, could go like this. I was born at a very young age. Or, once upon a time, I was born. Then go on it every time you fell off your bike in your childhood. Great. Now that you're done with the early childhood section, go on and write down your school experience. And then you can brag about how great you are and how other people should be more like you. Maybe that's just a me thing. Trust me, this works. Next up is adult life. What you will want to do for this segment is just, of the book is just write down a bunch of fun things adults talk about and do. Talk about how great your job is. Talk about politics. Talk about that new season of Netflix show. All good, am I right? Of course I know, because I'm pretty much an adult. Then you'll want to move on to some of your most significant accomplishments. For some, it may be sports, academics, or even engineering, if you're as smart as me. Isn't that right? But mine mostly teaches children how to be civilized and become princesses. And just like that, you have an autobiography. Anyway, that's all for this week of Al Explains. Now back to the main anchors. It's about time for our show to come to an end. You should spend some time this weekend working on your autobiography. That's a good idea. One. All right, bye, KMS. <laughs> <laughs>